I'm here in the woods with Mark Scott, top Enduro World Series racer, and we're talking Enduro skills. Mark, what do you think it takes to be a fast Enduro racer? Uh, well, obviously it takes a whole load of everything, like downhill speed, fitness. Today, I think we're going to talk about like cornering, line choice, and carrying speed, especially when you're tired. So in some respects, Mark, enduro is actually a lot like downhill, where you're trying to ride a downhill track almost as fast as possible. What about line choice? So where you've got a section of maybe turn, turn, turn like this, what do you think would be the best line? Well, first of all, you kind of look out for any real dangers, which this is pretty mellow, so you, you're really just looking for the straightest line possible, like within, obviously, if there's a race, there's tape within the tape, and just carrying your speed as much as you can. You may have only practiced the track once, so it's unlikely that you're going to remember everything. How do you go about that? Do you try and remember certain bits? Do you draw maps, do head cams? How do you do it? Yeah, for well, most stages you do, you only do practice it once, maybe twice at the most. And you've got, oh, I always take one head cam and try and pinpoint like where the real dangers are. And as long as I know those, I kind of give it full stick everywhere else and be wary of when I know when I'm coming up to something dangerous. So do you think your downhill background helps in that respect? Yeah, for sure. Like you, you're always racing flat out against the clock. So yeah, you just hope you're just relying on your skills and your fitness to like keep it as fast as you can for as long as you can. So as far as cornering, when I'm trying to coach it, I often talk about trying to get low and to the outside of the bike to try and find maximum grip. But from a sort of enduro mental perspective, what are you looking for to be fast at the turns? Uh, well, generally, again, you don't really know the track, so you, you're always scanning far ahead, look, always looking up, um, just trying to cut the, the widest, smoothest apexes you can to carry your speed. Because you could come out onto a flat section, it could be anywhere, and you just... main thing is sometimes it's faster to be slower in and faster out, so a lot of things add up. What about those sort of steep, gnarly turns we saw in Rotorua, lots of really rooty corners? I guess some of that is a bit more just try and hit it as fast as you can and stay on the bike. Yeah, so in like places like that, there's in the steep turns, there's always big ruts and you're just, that's more just skill based, just trying to make your way down as quick as you can, just slapping turns. So you top enduro racers are all super fit, but it's not all about the pedals for being fast. What other things do you try and do to be quick down a trail? Well, yeah, some stages are up to 10, 12 minutes. So you're in, obviously in the red for most of that. And by the end of these stages, your legs getting tired, you're, you're getting clumsy, you're not picking the back wheel up as much and really you just got to stay planted and be as smooth as you can and just, yeah, just keep the floor. A big part of Enduro, I suppose, is trying to save your bike as well and if you puncture in the middle of a stage, I guess that's race done and dusted pretty much. So picking up over things is going to be important and how much do you put into pumping the trail? As much as you can really because when you're pumping, you're not, you, you might not have to pedal so as much as you can get the balance between sprinting and pumping and just keep it, keeping you as fresh as you can for as long as you can. Sweet, thanks for those tips Mark, I'll try and use those next time I race you. And for some more enduro videos you can click up there for how to train for enduro and if you want to click down there that'll take you through to Martin May's top enduro race tips as well. And don't forget to click over there if you want to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video.